my retirement was a blast. Uh, we had retired and continue retiring 250 flags and we still continue to receive donations from the community which thank you very much. We'll still retire them. And quite a, t uh, a turnout here today. I am thrilled and ecstatic. I would say somewhere about 75 to 100 people. The biggest crowd that we've ever had a flag retirement ceremony. And we spoke last time, you kind of told us about the proper way to retire the flag. Let's go over that one more time. The United States flag code simply says that when a flag no longer can represent this country, that it should be retired in a dignified manner, preferably by the process of burning. That's what we did today. I see. And we had a number of uh, not just scouts, but other uh, representatives here today. We had the Sheriff's Department, Veterans of Foreign Wars, the American Legion, scouts, the fire department, the news media, including yourself, uh, and a host of uh, silent partners. And uh, Theodore, you did a very terrific Native American dance. Can you kind of talk about that? Well, the dance I did was a veterans uh, honoring dance that I've done only twice. This is the second time, and this is actually that was actually my last time I was I'm ever dancing due to my age and also. I got to move on. <laughs> so it is an honor to dance for the last time for my ceremony. Go ahead and tell me about your uh, sash there. What's that all about? The sash I have on here is the Order of the Arrow sash, which is the Honor Society of Boy Scouts of America. It's right there next to the Eagle Scout range, which I am currently working to attain. Don, what else does uh, Theodore have to do to earn his Eagle Scout award? The hardest part for any project the final paperwork. He must write, put his report in what he did, what went right, what went wrong, and what he learned. And then it's onward and upward. What are the chances? In his case, about 100%. And uh, this is especially poignant because uh, this uh, flag retirement ceremony happens to fall on September 11th. Correct, which was the day that people are off, you know, families and everybody else are off. So they could, you know, come see what America's all about. I want to thank Theodore Ward as well as Don McDougall for speaking with us. Theodore, what a great flag retirement ceremony you put on today. Congratulations. And we're looking forward to uh, seeing you earn your Eagle Scout Award. Thank you both. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.